Hi and welcome to our tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use Google Sites to build your own classroom website. There's a lot of ways to do this so let's get started and I'll show you a pretty simple way to start from scratch. First you'll need to go to sites.google.com and log in with your Google account. Once you're on this website you can see that I'm going to click on the big orange or kind of reddish orange create button in the top left corner. As I click on this button Google Sites wants to know whether I want to create a site from scratch or whether I'd like to build one using a template. If you'd like to use a template, please note there are several templates available in education for you to use. Simply click on Browse Templates and then go to Schools and Education and you'll see several websites here. If you're someone who's looking for maybe an easier way to get started, a nice uh, site that I like is called Simple and Easy Teacher Site. It's found just a little ways down on the page. It's a nice tool to use to help you with a pre-made template. I'm going to be creating a template from scratch, so we're going to use a blank template. First thing I need to do is name my site. So I'm going to call this Covilli UEN Site. You can name your site whatever you'd like. This, will be, this uh, title will appear at the header of your website. And you can always change this later. Notice when you type in your site name, located below is site location, and immediately it autofills with whatever you've typed. You may choose to remove some of the dashes in your site name, or excuse me, site location in order to make it a little easier to type. So I'm changing mine to Covilli UEN site. Once you've selected your name and your location, now we're going to come down here and select a theme. Google Sites has several themes to choose from. One suggestion I would make is to pick a theme that has a basic background. You can see that some of these are very uh, colorful and may look a lot of, like a lot of fun, but when you put text on them, they may be hard to read. So I'm going to pick something simple like Solitude Cherry. Once I've selected my theme, you can see the last button asks if I want to categorize my website or provide a brief description. I'm not going to choose to do that at this moment. So now I'll click Create. Google Sites is checking to see if my site location is available. If it is, it will create my site. It shouldn't take very long for this to happen. And there you go. You've now created a website using Google Sites. The next thing we need to do is to add content to our website. I'm going to start by creating a few basic pages that may help you get started. Across the top of your Google Sites screen, you'll notice that there are three uh, kind of clear buttons with icons or text on them. There's also a fourth button that's purple, or excuse me, that's blue, that allows you to share your site with others. The first button is a pencil icon that allows me to edit the current page that I'm on. The second button with a page and a plus sign allows me to make new pages. And the more button gives me a variety of options that I can work on through my site. To get started, I'm going to click on the plus button and create a new page. A basic page that you may choose to create in your teacher site is a page that tells your students a little bit about yourself. You can see I've named my page about me and there are a few different choices of templates to use but I'm going to suggest that you just use the web page template. This is a standard page where you can add content, images, text, whatever you're looking to put on there. And the last question asks you what, where you would like your, your page to be uh, located within your site. The default is to put it at the top level, and that's a great suggestion. When you're all ready to go, you click the Create button. You can see we've now made a page called About Me. Google Sites will immediately take you into the edit mode on this page, um, and you can you could start typing or adding content if you want to. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to click Save this page, because I'm not going to put my content on here quite yet. I'm not ready yet. Another page that you may choose to, to create is something about your assignments. So again, I'm going to click on the New Page icon, and just like we did before, I'm going to create a page for assignments. And everything else stays the same. We'll click Create, and now you've got a third page. As you look at your navigation going down the side of your page, uh, of your website, you'll see that the pages are alphabetically arranged. So we'll click Save on that. 
So you've done it. You've created a series of pages. The, in the next video tutorial, we're going to show you how you can add some content to your pages that you can use to share information with your students and the parents. I hope this has been helpful for you, and thanks for watching.